Assalamu alaikum viewers. Today I will discuss about differentiation of a function in this lecture. Differentiation is a most important topic of calculus. So for the derivative of a function, let us consider a continuous function continuous function in interval interval mein students hum baat karenge uske domain ki x x1 belongs to d df df means domain domain of a function then you know the rate of change you already studied rate of change function with respect to with respect to the value of independent variable independent variable in x it means x rate of change of a function with respect to the values of a independent variables x and its formula become f x1 minus f x divided by x1 minus x1 this is the formula for rate of change of function with respect to sorry variable independent variable then he said if x1 approaches to x if x1 approaches to x not equal approaches to x it means limit x1 approaches to x and this formula this formula then this is called instantaneous instantaneous rate of change of a function with respect to again independent variable x okay students and uh, the most important some substitution is if we use if we use x1 minus x the x1 minus x is a difference difference between two domain values is called x1 minus x is equal to change change of domain okay students it means x1 is equal to x plus some change
so this formula is become this expression and this expression is form limit x 1 minus x approaches to 0 move from plus is equal to minus f of x1 x1 is equal to x plus x plus delta x it means change of x change of x is delta x minus f of x divided by x minus x x minus x is equal to change of x it means delta x x minus x also is equal to delta x so it becomes delta x approaches to 0 then delta x f of x plus f of x dash minus f of x ok students and this final result from function we derive into instantaneous form and then apply it to some relation change of uh, domain and then final result limit delta x approaches to 0 f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x and this final relation this final result is called derivative of a function the first function f of x and this is called a derivative of function f of x ok students and it is denoted as f prime of x f prime of x or dy over dx and other notations we use in later questions or examples and this formula remember that this formula is a, is called derivative or differential of a function our given function for for this explanation more explanation with questions as an example for clearance of this concept so summary of this lecture is first of all function is given then we can find f x plus delta x then difference divide and apply limit the four steps are required for solving any question of derivative by definition or a first principle also yes students the question is given find derivative by definition or first principle first principle or definition it means find derivative by the complete derivative steps first and all f of x is given 2x cubed plus 1 so I can find f of x plus dx f of x plus dx it means x replaced by x plus dx it means 2 into x plus dx whole square plus 1 f of x and f of x plus delta x both are given then according to definition f of x plus delta x minus f of x so we need this one simplify put the value 2 into x plus dx whole square plus 1 this one first function minus second function is this 2x square plus 1 open bracket and then simplify 2 into x plus delta x whole square it means whole square formula x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x square plus 1 
एंड टू एक्स स्केयर प्लस माइनस माइनस वन ओके स्टूडेंट एंड मल्टीप्लाई दिस सो टू एक्स स्केयर टू टू जो फोर एक्स डेल्टा एक्स एंड टू डेल्टा स्केयर एक्स प्लस वन माइनस वन कैंसल and then minus 2x square is remaining 2x square 2x square plus minus cancel and then final result is 4x delta x plus 2 delta x square delta x delta x common so delta x taking common and then final result is delta x is 4x plus 2 delta x and this is the value of difference of function okay students this one step 1 this is step 2 and then step 3 is divided by delta x x plus divided by delta x this one students delta x 4x plus 2 delta x divided by delta x delta x delta x cancel out and final and the last step this is the third step and the final and the last step is apply limit limit delta x approaches to 0 x plus delta x so students delta x approaches to 0 and remaining function is 4x plus 2 delta x when we apply fun limit then delta x become 0 and then multiple with 2 so all value all term is a 0 hence the final result is 4x this is the final result okay students this is the derivative 4x of function 2x square plus 1 this function 4 f of x is equal to 2x square plus 1 find the derivative of this function apply these four steps and then you can find you can find the derivative the final result of derivative f of i'm uh, sorry uh, f prime of x is 4x okay students this one f prime of x yes students you can see an other question f of x is x plus 2 square root and then find the derivative by definition of first principle x plus two square root means x plus two power raised to power x one over two. Same steps apply. Find x plus delta x x replace with x plus delta x plus two one by two difference this one. Here, the most important step is x plus two is a function, so x plus two take common in this one. x plus two take common it means x plus two remaining 1 and uh, delta x divided by x plus 2 because the common means take take common means to divide and other terms x plus delta x divided by x plus 2 1 by 2 minus 1 x plus 2 x plus 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 it means whole common take whole common so this bracket this bracket in this bracket the power is fractional form so we open this by expand expand this by binomial theorem 
I apply on a binomial theorem on this one and then plus one minus one remove cancel with each other and remaining terms this second step and then third step is divide by delta x this one delta x is divided by and uh, delta x take common in the whole term whole bracket delta x delta x remove x plus 2 1 by 2 and 1 over x this one x delta x because in second term delta x square it means one delta x common so a single delta x left and uh, all other terms contains delta x so when we apply the limit delta x is equal to 0 it means all uh, other terms higher power becomes a 0 so left is x plus 2 1 by 2 this one 1 divided by 2 into x plus 2 this term and all other terms become a 0 these students uh, you can see 0 0 it means to remove it so find x plus 2 1 by 2 and then exp by exponential law powers when bases are same divide then power subtract to each other so the final result is 1 divided by 2 into square root x plus 2 this is the today's lecture students i hope you understand this topic but if you have any problem then you must mention in comment okay students if you like this lecture so like it but remember that subscribe my channel thank you for watching take care